New game! I will check him out, Chris. Thank you very much. How many did you make? The skies are finally clear enough after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's a Two? Okay. Nine degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. West, West Virginia! Virginia. Morning, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Bassett County. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting... Oh, you remember CD players, chat? I remember CD players. Those are good times. Dude, Tales from Borderlands was great, BW. That was a good one. That home looks like the home from, um... Captain Shack. What was his name? What was that game? Life of Streams 2. Hey, you're gonna be at the wake, right? Uh oh, someone died. Oh! Who throws their phone in the back seat when they don't want to respond to a text? Just don't respond to it, dude! Huh. Yeah, Captain Underpants. I hope I don't get DMCA'd for this. What is this song? Keep coming alive. Monsters, that's who? My car had a six disc CD, a six, six disc. Why is it so hard to say? CD player and, and DVD player. Oh, snap. What's the backup plan if you get DMCA? Go work at Arby's. Sell some Jamocha shakes. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. Alright, so we're on our way to a funeral. Great start to a game. Well, we can go that way. Let's go, let's, let's go around the river bend real quick. Just around the Funerals river bend. For a while, and I'm not gonna walk into town. Oh, okay, never mind. Game's not gonna let me do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we're going down this path. No littering. There was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Well, this game is pretty. Frame rate seems kind of low. Oh, yeah. It is coming out at 51 FPS right now. Let's see if we can fix that real quick, chat. Ah, that will do it. Let's put it on full screen here. That should help out a little bit better. Also, I'm going to turn the brightness up for you guys. Okay. Let's see if that helps. Oh, frame rate is still low. Well, this game is not optimized that well. Let me see if I can do some finagling real quick here. We'll do this. We'll turn that off. We'll turn that on. We'll see if that helps give us a nice, clean 60 FPS. Yay or nay. I came up here every chance I could. They look better, chat? Great views. Really makes a small town look big. Hmm, I'm getting a couple of frame drops. Just slightly. This game is CPU intensive. I'm using like 35 CPU on this game alone. Hang on. Let me see if there's anything that I can close out here just to give us a little bit better of a chance. There we go. Yeah, man, this, this game's really CPU intensive. It's kind of crazy. All right, let's do a walk for a second and see how it looks. If it's a little jittery, I can restart the game and that'll be our, our best chance, I think. 
And then there's also usually a V-Sync option. Let's turn that on. See if that clears it up. Sometimes that ruins it for everybody. Okay. That looks a lot better. Cemetery, Basswood Mine, Basswood, and Basswood River. Closed. A travel through West Virginia. Closed sucks. Basswood is also a suck at. A sucks to simply let nature be nature outside the application trail with its 100 miles of hiking trails. Ruined. Closed. Sucks. Danger. Fall hazard. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. Yeah, but people do dumb shit if you don't tell them what to do. I, <laughs> I, I bought a toaster, I think, when I was like 18, 19, when I first moved out into my, my own place. And on the toaster box, it said, don't put hand in toaster. Coverage is up here. And I was like, really? I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. Basswood Wildlife. Hiking trails, hunting rules. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. Food locker. Interesting. Do those exist on trails, really? I used to love looking at basswood from up here. Help give me perspective. Until that day. Don't operate toaster while bathing. <laughs> Oh, cutscene. This is going to be an important telescope, I can tell. What the? Whoa. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? So is this like his mind palace? Hey, Matty P, good morning. Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. Is that a Sherlock reference? Of course, I love Sherlock. She was great. Whoa, I like his shirt. I want a shirt like that. Okay, let's move. Memory. Remember. I, uh... I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. Aww. I never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is gonna be a journey, isn't it, Chad? Our chat. I was not expecting, uh, a sad game, honestly. So this is the guy that died. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to? I don't know, Javro. I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. Can you start referring I've to never us as Chad? Never met someone so never. interested in others, even in me. Chad, you guys are not Chads, all right? I'm not a Chad, all right? Do you think Chads watch this stream? No, this stream is full of Carls and Berts, all right? And I'm okay with that. I'm at peace with that. We don't need Chads. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. What the fuck is a Chad? Have you really never heard that phrase? Chad's like the peak alpha male that just absolutely owns every area that he goes into, but doesn't care what anyone thinks. A Chad is the epiphany of badass male. <laughs> On the internet. Come on, Anna. 
Look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Oh. You really need to see this. Please marry me. I can't even see. Something's blocking. Epitome? No. No. I definitely use the right word, chat. Sam. Epiphany. What are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. She's like, hell no. Nah. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. It's our second date. I'm down on one knee, a ring. What else would I be doing? Dude. You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. I don't want to fill out tax forms with you. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We so wait, happy. what? She was the one brave enough to face that. Well, oh, good for her. How much time did I miss? You're really not going to show? See, chat, that's why I'm afraid of marriage. I don't want to ever make a mistake. <laughs> what if we marriage, marry the wrong person? What if we do? That would suck. Uh, I guess we should head back to the car. All right, let's head back to the car. Can I run? I oh. missed the funeral. Nope. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Jesus, this guy is emo. Holy shit. We missed the funeral doing that? Are you still coming? Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least, you don't have to do it alone. Um, chat, I would recommend getting your Bible thumbs ready. I feel like this is going to be a Bible thump game. Twin Mirror! How's the uh, stream look since I put it at 60 FPS? Everything okay? Since we put on V-Sync? I want to make sure you guys have the perfect visual experience. Are you still coming? I really hope you can make the wake. It'll be at Haven. We gotta go. We have to. I'm almost there. Got stuck in traffic. I'm almost there. <laughs> My favorite Lost excuse when talking to someone is, I'm right down the street. I'll be there in five. And they show up 15 minutes later. At least he's handsome as fuck. Can't let Walter down, that's what I'm thinking. People at the wait need to relax. Everyone is so stiff. <laughs> you can't type that. You can't say that. That's fucked up. <laughs> I hope we get to play darts. I love darts. It's so fun to play in video games. It's so much easier to throw things in games than it is in real life.
this our goddaughter? Next daughter, can't imagine what she's going through. Hey, bug. Yumi, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. This kid seems very adult. It's cold. Hmm. Wait, she can drive? She looks like she's eight years old. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Alright, um, let me explain, because I would also like to know why this character left. It was more complicated than just me and you. It's always more important than me. Joan, listen. After Anna and I broke up, I couldn't keep living with her. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. So I moved back in with my mom, who's over in Connecticut these days. You didn't call, text, or anything. You were just gone. That does seem a little unfair. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> you're always at least honest. That's a good trait to have. If you're a dick, at least be an honest dick. Don't be a false dick. You know what I'm saying, chat? Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. Did someone murder our friend? I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just... Look into it, Muli. Hey, says, what's Please. up, bud? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What the f- Who is this guy? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least lead the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other, even if it means disappointing her again. It's your call. Keep her out of it. Promise to look into it. Uh, is this like the good version of me and this is like the neutral emo version of me? Oh, I think we should keep her out of it, right? Although she prefers honesty, right? She likes honesty. It's what she said. She enjoyed that personality about us. I think we're gonna promise to look into it. Okay, I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. It's really a bad time to say if I had a dollar. I might just be, so, uh, I don't know, crazy I'll just or something, but keep watching the video game. That's sure. what I'll do. I get yep. It. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. Me, watching the video game. Not saying a pun. Um, I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there too. Can't hide in your car all night. I could, actually. I'm hiding out here. It's quite roomy. I do. See you inside. Oh, she seems really nice. We gotta make sure we take care of her, chat. We are the guardian. Why is there a cop car here?
guys talking about Life is Strange, dude, that game was so good. I actually enjoyed the prequel more than the main game, which is crazy because they both were great. Two was interesting, but a little too, a little too hamstrung on politics, I think, every episode. It was like four different topics they were trying to discuss every episode. It was kind of crazy. Might as well talk to Walter. Walter! Later. Let me look over here for some loot real quick. Coming through the back will get me looks. Okay, no back door. No back door. Let's go talk to this guy. Hey, guy. Yes. Walter Dawson. Oh, that's Walter. Yes, yes, it is, mother. Friendly as ever. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe, has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you. Why wouldn't we Even hug this guy? The circumstances were different. Hug him. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Well, I mean, when he's talking that crazy, just hug. Why do we have to have that entire sentence said? Aww. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. Is Anna- Anna was my ex, right? Are Anna and Walter dating? Did Anna leave me for Walter? And he didn't tell me and just hugged me? I hate Walter. Oh, I should have looked. Here we go. Dang, I didn't look at all. Loading. This reminds me of my home so much, Midwest. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. It me. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires, but that means you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? What the fuck is your problem? You're just really embracing those Hicks stereotypes, huh, Joel? Gentlemen, we'll get you good old boys another round. Mighty kind of you, Declan. You're not worth it, Higgs. What just Taking happened? Brains already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. Why does everyone hate me? I'm just here for Nick. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. Shame that. You watch yourself. He started it. We don't have to be too aggressive. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Is that what they do? That's the guy who got the mind closed. I can't believe he showed up. Wait, they're mad because I got jobs closed down? Was it for safety? Ah, oh, here it is. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always oh, churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick? His car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Jesus! Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. <laughs> the infamous Sam. <laughs> I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. What'd you think of it? Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think? Of the writing? 
fine. Fine. Of the reporting. <laughs> Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, At least this guy has social awareness. Don't Jesus, Tara, you, get some social awareness. What is your problem? Can't just share every thought you have in your brain. I like pizza. Look. There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce. But anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Uh, Sam, you actually came. Um, it's good to see you. It's been too long, Kathy. <laughs> Has it? Oh, she Jillian was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Jones never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Okay, I'll do my best. Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. Jesus! We've really fucked up. Or people are like super aggressive okay. towards us. One of the two. Sam, Maybe both. I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay. Maybe I should have talked about the murder instead. Um... Mine Palace or Empty Spot? Let's go to the Mine Palace first. It is a Mine Palace. It really is, Sherlock. Pac-Man. Oh, please let me play Pac-Man. Oh my god, they got the music too. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mine closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You probably saved some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of language. Oh. I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. She no, said no. It's just, it feels like the right thing to do. Dad? What's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. I take offense to that. Anna about this? Us old people can win video games, too. I'll talk to her about it when I show her the ring. If you say so. Hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything. Anything but my arcade secrets. Those I'll take to the grave. Stop lying, you're young. I mean, I'm young in the the, the realm of life, but in the realm Sorry, of video games, I'm old as fuck, dude. Sorry, I lost touch. These little whippersnappers have no idea how to play games, but they can outshoot me. That's for sure. You know how bad that feels? Let's look at Nick. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. <laughs> it doesn't look a little weird, doesn't it? What's this one? Happier times. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. You can Kathy. Bug was so small back then. Those two were a great team. Sam and Walter. Okay, let's go and put our photo in, it looks like. Um I wonder who took that picture. Look at us. Super cute. Alright, let's back out. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Why are they so hostile here, account, man? Like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. I won my bet. Well, Dennis, I won the bet I had with myself that you'd be an asshole right off the bat. Got him! That was a safe bet. Yeah. What are you even doing here, Dennis? 
you and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. Dang, man. This coming from the IT guy. This guy just died. Passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Oh. Did he show a gun? What is wrong with you? Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Things have been great. Really good. I'm thinking of going back to school. Go for another master's. So you don't have a clue what to do with yourself. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which... Oh, it's Anna. That's her name, right? Dude, they're totally dating now, aren't they? Dude, respect for people that can get up and sing at a wake or a funeral. Oh my god. Can't imagine channeling all that emotion. Go comfort her. After a beer. I need some confidence. There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce. But anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Okay. Hey, man. Ethan. I need a cold one, bud. He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. Uh, not really. You Yikes. Just That's just bad management. Alright, looks like he can't get a beer. But no more than 3,000 milligrams. I thought it was 4,000. <laughs> I can't believe this whole thing's still working. Well, that amount is... Who was that? Daddy, daddy, daddy. God, I'm so scared of being DMCA with this game. This might be a VOD that I have to throw on YouTube chat. Might have to delete this VOD. I like her purple outfit. It really works. Daddy, 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 daddy. But when the lights are out, it's time for me to show you my love. And I got a feeling you've been pleased. So Oh, this is really cute. I'm actually kind of sad that we watched this. 
Because we're probably about to have a fight when I talk to her. Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. All right, time to face her. Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Give me the option, please. Video game. Okay. There we go. Anna? Sam! Hug her back. He still has feelings for her. Maybe hugging her back. Eh, let's hug her back. It's a funeral. I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? Hmm. Um, it wasn't because of you. It's not your fault. There's a lot of people that don't want me here, including myself. People around here have short tempers. And long memories. But most of them mean well. And it's true. Sam, the mine was going to close anyways. About the Midwest. Maybe any year Good or people two, there, generally. Five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was going to run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Tell that to everyone else. I know. I didn't help. Mm. I didn't help. I wanted to help. I was trying to make things better. You always do. Try, at least. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak. Unmoving and annoyingly supportive. We're playing on Epic. <laughs> it's on PS4 as well, I think. It wasn't just him. But probably PS5 Nick as well. your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. You and Nick were together? But you and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He, he never told you? I mean... He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. Uh, that's the worst part. Right? Best friend and ex-girlfriend that I was going to marry broken, getting together. <sighs> you know, they're humans. They're allowed to do what they want. But that's always this, rough to be in that triangle, this right? This was all nice. The funeral, the wake... Walter did a good job. At least he's taking it in stride. But it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. I'm sorry Nick was gone. Was Nick murdered? Why does this keep coming up as an option? You just can't go around asking people, if, you know, let's ask. Fuck it. Nick's death. Do you know if he had any enemies? Working on anything dangerous? Whew. Now this is a real can of worms. This is a wake. I know that. Do you? This isn't the time to be digging and pushing. Sorry. You always do this. You always. Sorry. I know I shouldn't have done that. I get it. I just. You. You're still you, huh? You'll always still be you, Sam. I'm me. Yeah. I hope you never change, but I can't handle this right now. Sorry, Anna. I'm gonna go home. I hate that his stuff is all over my house. Then drink and cry all night. You do what you need to do. See you around. Oh, I pissed her off. My bad, chat. I shouldn't have asked that. Come, have a round with me. I need a drink or two. Or three. And then I'll go. Journal updated. Walter can be overwhelming at times, but he means well. Uh, so what am I doing here? Oh, beer. Nice. 
So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Oh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Cheers! Chat, when I die, will you drink a beer in my name? Yeah, Don't. You can drink water. Or Dr. Pepper. Right I prefer down. Dr. Pepper, not a beer. A good, too. fat DP. With friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. Well, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. True aces. A super stale Dr. Pepper? No, that shit better be foamy. In my memory? Um, he had things I didn't. We hadn't talked in two years. I'm just gonna drink. I'm just gonna be the silent type. I feel like I'm already causing ruffles here. Put that down! Kathy, what's your underage child doing drink? Do you have no control over her? Ethan can lose I his wasn't license. doing anything! Don't touch me! Joan! Leave me alone. Are you drinking, girl? Uh, you guys are all so... so... stupid! You do not talk to people that way. She needs some parenting. I'm... I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so... so... Someone should go follow that, that kid. Heavy handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. I'll shoot Jonah a text. I'll send her a text. Make sure she's going to be okay. I'm here for you. Uh oh. Oh no. Wait, we just promised the kid we'd be here. We can't get drunk. No, stop drinking. I have no control over this. No, 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 no. No, don't give me another. Oh no. Too much. What a night. I'd say that went well ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if Joan got inside your head with her whole dad mystery death thing. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your Who idea. Who is this guy? You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. It's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Stop pushing me. Stop, stop pushing me. Stop always poking at me. You just won't quit. I'm trying to help. And helpful tip number 602 beer doesn't solve any of this checkmate you're back out in the world feeling emotions fitting in that's progress fuck the world pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean go away let me enjoy being miserable. say what you mean that's what the Just belters say on the expanse don't do anything stupid no promises. Dude, quit drinking. Oh, God. We're going to do something really bad, aren't we? Hey, Stoets. What's up, man? Check 
out at nine. What kind of hotel is this? No, stay out. Okay, okay. What kind of monsters have a check out at nine? That's what I'm saying. What happened last night? Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. I black out or what? Ugh, I can't. I can't think straight. Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more. 9.15? We should give them a call. I'm like, hey, we're gonna be a bit late. Ugh. It's so bright outside. Ugh. Oh yep, yeah. this is definitely definitely a hotel room. What is this? Oh my head. How many of these did I take? Yeah, well, why did I, why did I take pills? What the? God, what a headache! I feel like a small jack. Please let there be water. Beer. Bottle. Snacks. No, no water. What's that? Can't grab any of it. No Bummer. Of course. Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud. At least it won't take me long to get my things. All right, we should take a shower. Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud. Sink. Already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. Okay. Oh, there's the shirt. Oh, shit. What did we do? Did we have two hamburgers? Where did I get this? What did I do? Well, into our mine palace. They can't get us here. Is this game a full game or is this episodic content? I didn't even check. I'm gonna be so mad if it's episodes. Run, dude! Oh god, we gotta run. Uh oh. Get to the door. Door! Episodic? Oh no. How many episodes? Sam, be more careful. Three. Focus. Oh, I'm supposed to dodge those. Oh. Oh. Find the way to calm down. I see. We're dodging the doors. My bad. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I thought the doors were safety. Why are we running through doors again? Oh no! Ah, oh, he's gonna kill us! Sam, wait, focus. Wait, you am I not? to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. What's the right door? Which one? How do I know which one's right? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. That one looks right. It has words on it. That looks right. Steady yourself. Whew. 
Easy. Danger. Behind you. I'm a killer. Are these all thoughts that I'm having? Prison? You're a murderer? Give in? Jail time? Death row? Solitary? Hurt? Death? Run, hide, run. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Take control. Take control. What the fuck is this segment? Oh shit, the doors are moving now! No way out, prison. Can I fit through this hole, you think? Oh shit. Stop and accept your fate. Ooh, this guy's right behind me. This happened to you the other day when you were near my palace? You're doing good. Really good. You're almost there. Am I schizophrenic? Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. Let's go with door number three. You're far away. Don't think. Just go. Or as fast as I can. That one's for running away. Hide. This has never happened. If I run, I'll keep running. And then we run. I don't know what I did. Say so we run. I can't. I've run from my problems long enough. What is the illusion of choice? Huh? I guess we have to face it head on. Okay, won't let me. Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. Kind of hate that. It's supposed to be a choice game. If there's only one choice, then why would you give me choices? I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. So this my and alcohol. my conscience. You're lucky enough, you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. I'll be safer knowing. There's too many questions about last night. All the obvious answers are bad, but worth knowing. Not all answers are worth knowing. I think the game just, just started, Laragon. So either help me. Or if you want a quick life. recap, I can recap. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. I appreciate a recap. Basically, what happened is. One of our best friends or friends from life died, so we're back in our hometown. Um, we find out throughout the game at the wake that uh, our hometown hates us because we apparently published a story on a mine where people had had jobs and apparently was unsafe and unfit and uh, people could have been harmed or injured. And uh, so we find out that we're an investigative journalist. After our night of being yelled at, we decided to start drinking. We got drunk. We woke up with our shirt off, which is important. Very important detail. Uh, and then we found out our shirt was in the kitchen, or not the kitchen, the bathroom. In the bath, all bloodied up. And now we're trying to figure out why it's bloodied up. And here we are. And that's pretty much the main ring cap. 
more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. Watch Ethan be dead. He's in the freezer. Kegs. Know the taste all too well. Okay. Open up. Whoa. What happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? Someone showed up. Ethan treated to clean up before or after the incident. Oh wow, this is all broken. Oh no. Ugh. Did I do this? Sorry, Nick. Broken clock. What knocked this clock off the pillar? Dried alcohol could be from spills or a broken bottle. These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? Got a full pack on minigame? You can't play it. You can just look at it. And you know your friend has a high score. It might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Ripped. Did this happen yesterday, or was it always like that? It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. You know, things definitely went down, didn't they? Hughes business card. Hughes business card. Wonder why it's here. Hugh Kirkland, pharmacist. Drink plenty of water. Great for a headache. Wait, he wrote a note on it. So we should go see Hugh. Uh, let me do a quick run around to make sure I didn't miss anything important. might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. We've already seen that one. Okay. You guys see anything important, chat, that I missed? We'll do a quick survey, then head back. Ooh. Joel's cap. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. All right. I think we got everything. Let's head back. Oh, there's a note here in the restroom. Can't read it. If you make... It should not be this hard. What? If you must vomit... Please find something. I can't read it. It's too hard. Okay. Well, let's head back, I guess. Oh, can't head back. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Mop cleaned up. Dartboard done. Can't go in that restroom. What am I missing? Gotta check every corner. There's something on the tables that I missed? Broken bottle I've already looked at. You can't go outside, right?
video game. What am I missing? <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Definitely not the wig Nick would have wished for. Yeah, I already looked at that. Empty bottles, business card I already read. Bless you, thank you guys, thank you. Hmm. Look up. Um, good point. Looking up is definitely the one thing I always fail in video games. I don't see anything, chat. I feel like I thoroughly looked at everything. And the game won't let me go back out. Gather evidence about the attacker. You can expect a stage, you missed something. Did I? Oh, yep, you're right. The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. There's a clue. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't okay, it went blue. Me. That must be enough. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces. I've just got to think it through. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Press RB to go into your mind palace. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. <sighs> Wait, why is it on fire this time? At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Yeah, man. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I like his shirt through having the mind sy <laughs> symbol. Like he's pulsating in his brain. Left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through. Find out what really happened. My memory ends here. But there's two glasses. Who was here with me? Answer the question to start forming a hypothesis. Where did it start? It started here. I was drinking on my own. When someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. Come on! Who did we fight and why? Just tell me, video game! If I figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Toward the pillar, toward the entrance. Looks like it was toward the pillar. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Okay. Probably onto the stage, right? Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. Dennis, Joel, or Hugh business card. Hughes was over there. He said drink water with a hangover, but that wouldn't be someone that would get into a fight with me. It's either Joel or Dennis. I'm gonna go with Dennis. Although a cap would fall off more than a bracelet, right? In a fight? Joel's cap. Maybe he provoked me again after I'd had a few. Dennis's bracelet was over there, so that wouldn't be it. No, that's not it. The pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. That wouldn't be it if that was a fight. 
Yeah. It's Denison. It's weird that a bracelet would fall off. That's Denison's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. Okay, let's go with it. Let's lock it in. I have the complete picture now. <laughs> you know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Yikes! Oh, shit. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch? Who <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. How does the bracelet fall off? You don't talk about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. Meet you later at where? Wait. Was Nick? Caught up in things he should have been? Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for hmm. sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. Let's stay. Time to leave if you're leaving. Let's tell him we're sorry. You'll want to apologize. Trust me. God damn. Sam? You're, you're not here to rob me, right? <laughs> you're not here to <laughs> rob me, are you? No. Ethan, I, uh... No, I'm not here to rob you. Oh, good. I won't have to break your legs. <clears throat> I'm here to apologize about last night. Ah. Uh, I thought that might be the case. Don't sweat it. This place gets busted up once a month. That's so sad. This Sounds guy rough. makes a place for people to come to it and is, hang out, and they break it. it. Buy a bar, you gotta run a bar, you know? I'll take cleaning up your dumbass mess over dealing with family any day. True. Family trouble? Question mark? Family, huh? That's my. Is this game good, or are you here to rob me? <laughs> I think you're 29 months. Uh, called the it's a new game. I, I don't have I don't have a verdict on it yet. It's Jury's still out. Yeah, and it's my choice to be pissed she's ruining it. Look, Sam, we're fine. This is fine, but uh, get the hell out of my bar, okay? I got okay. places to be anyways. See you around, Ethan. We should at least offer to pay for some of the stuff, right? At least. Yes, I guess not. Yeah, I would like offer to clean up or at least give him some money, you know? I feel like that would be the right thing to do. Just a little bit. Right? I went through the back door, Zezus. That's how we got into that bar. So now we're going to see the town a little bit. The town looks a little run down. God, this reminds me of of course. Old Town back on the town's Miners Day Belton, which is where I used to live. Everything just run down a little bit. Great timing. Like a little Long confetti flags and that. stuff. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? Makes me kinda miss around. home a little bit. See if anyone's seen Dennis Feeling homesick today. watching this game. Let me see if anything jogs my memory. I've heard worse plans. This way looks like somewhere I'm from. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Dennis came through Main Street. Someone saw him. Reminds you why you left home? Yeah, there's a little bit of that too, but... Nothing wrong with being nostalgic. 
for simpler times, you know? Black Heart Hotel. Um, let's check my check. Inquire about Dennis. Okay, so I guess I just walk around. This place is open. Ah, oh, the drugstore. They always know everything. Or at least they'll bullshit our way through. walk around and talk to people 50 percent off oh my yo get out the way uh out of my way you move i'm the one coming in Shh, fuck you that's enough jesus what is wrong with you Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Hiking trails, some of the best Hiking in the state. is an activity best done alone on a Sunday afternoon. Or never. How about that? Although I do kind of miss hiking. You know what, maybe I'll do a hike my next day off. Hike in the morning, edit in the night. He looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Yeah, he does, actually. Is a game control worth 16 bucks? Yes. Ah, oh, Samuel. Control's amazing. I'm sorry about Richard. He Immerse yourself in that game, rage. too. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. That means drunk. I blocked out. So I've heard. I have an impressive hangover. Mm, let's go with the hangover. Yeah. Quite a hangover to show for it. <sighs> not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Other man? And I tried to get you to hand over your keys, but you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote... It's done this town a lot of good. You don't have to be nice. Let's push for more compliments. You really don't need to say. Hey, fight merchant. Nice for eleven months. But it's true. The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover, but I find in some cases. Time is the best medicine. True. <sighs> you suggest I take nothing? A pill pusher who doesn't want to push pills. That's a new one. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. I like this guy. Now you have a good one, young man. Thank you, oh, sir. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? Why move to Bosswood? I have to ask. Basswood. Why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink, and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. No, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Mm -hmm. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something for me? Of course. Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat. But I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Great. Uh, Athelia, thank you for 23 months. I like this guy. I hope nothing bad happens to him. Depression poster. About time it was addressed. You don't have to deal with it alone. There's help. Diabetes. Control it. Don't let it control you. 
It won't be easy, but it's worth it. I don't understand this picture. No mine, still a miner's day. Traditions die hard in Basswood. Miner's day always ends up exactly the same. Relaxing in its constancy. Candy bowl. Strategic display to make children feel better. <laughs> Kathy's glass jar. Bug made that for Mother's Day years ago. And Kathy still keeps it. Oh, they work together? Oh, interesting. I don't th I don't think I would like to work with the person I'm dating. I kind of I like I like to just do my work. Hey, Kathy. Yo, by myself. Hey. What can I do you for? Um, have you seen Dennis? Dennis? Dennis hasn't come in today. Has this is West Virginia? Yeah, West Virginia. Dennis? I haven't seen him since last night. Why? Are you looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight. Like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping. <laughs> but I left early to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl. Not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. Why don't you go talk to her? I gotta go. The boss sees me John instead of working. I'll get an earful. Wait, aren't you two dating? What would it matter? No one in here was much help. And didn't he just talk to me? Uh-oh, it's Tara. Let's go see what crazy Tara has to say. She's a speaker. Oh, Sam. You here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... You? It's alright, of course. What the fuck does that I mean? Tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. I'm trying to find something for it, and if it doesn't help, it can't hurt. I'm glad someone took over this whole drugstore. Can you imagine? This town without a pharmacy would be like, well, me with a hole in my gut. <laughs> <laughs> Tara. I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. You should not be on the internet. No, you should not. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Oh, yes. <laughs> Always. Great. Why don't you stop her? Because I want to know what the hell she's thinking. She gets all her medical information from Facebook. I'm calling it. Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. Open. We had someone like that on my street when I was growing up in my trailer park. Her name was Janet. We called her Aunt Janet. And she just talked about everyone's drama. All the time. It's actually really sad. Her and her husband always fought. I hope Janet's okay. Damn, that made me sad, actually. <laughs> Alright, where do we go? Let's go this way. Oh. Now I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. Who's this, this guy? Country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... What's happening? I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you have to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. I'm always suspicious of people who change their tone when people show up. Who is that? Seen Dennis today? Let's ask him who it is. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but... It's hard when no one is polite back. Yeah, but you're an officer of the law. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It could get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? 
grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Okay, maybe he's okay. He's just sorry about that. He's just working hard. He's in his own head. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. You seen Dennis? You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. You would hate to be I a cop. Messed up Dennis pretty good last night. <sighs> I think I'm it would definitely get under your skin. It's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you. You gotta always take the high road, I right? Keep your nose clean. Which can be hard for humans to do. We all falter a lot, right? Well, let's go this way. Graffiti. I'm used to see this around. Ooh, that that's a pretty good graffiti. Miles Morales would be proud. Speaking of that, God, we gotta play Miles Morales. Yeah, there's so many games to play. So many. I like days like this where I wake up and I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna play. You know you're in think of the opportunities. About minors. We don't know where we're gonna be by the end of the day. But goddamn, we got games to play. 22 months ago, I subbed in happiness. Now I'm lying on the floor throwing up. How times have changed. You okay, Phil? Are you, are you feeling sick, bud? Dude, anime and chicken noodle soup. It'll cure you, I promise. Alright, we need to go find Dennis. You good, bud? Yeah, you okay? You okay with that message? That's a coffee shop, it looks like. Who is this lady? She looks like she has a story to tell. Tell me a story. She pulls the look off a lot better than I could. Okay. What is that on our on our belly button? Is that a rock? Interesting. Nope. Don't remember seeing you in town before. I hope you're okay, Phil. Passing by. Thank you for 22 months. Uh, I'm just passing through. I'm gonna say I'm from here. I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. When you managed to leave and still came back, you'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. You gotta start from I somewhere. I barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. <laughs> oh. Slow day so far. But people are gonna swarm the cafe once the celebrations start. I guess it means more tips for me. So it's not all bad. Okay, well, you got an outlook on life, and I'm not going to disturb that. Have you ever wondered how Basswood got its name and went from a small mining camp to the heart that modernized Boone County? Join us at your favorite town hall and find out! Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Why do we even bother with this old place? Seems like a ghost town sometimes, except ghosts have yeah, I agree with GGN cast. Felt, I hope you feel better, man. I don't know what's going on. You don't have to say anything, but you're more than welcome here, and uh, I, I hope you feel okay, man. That's a bummer. Is there a game you want to see on the stream? Now I want to make you feel better. Is there a game you want to see? I like video games. Just please don't say the one game we're all not wanting to see. Please don't say that game. Please. Anything else? Oh, I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? Sure, Christina. You seem nice. <laughs> what are these options? You're not doddering. You should carry less. Do I have a choice? What the fuck is this? Why can't I be like, yeah, sure, I got a couple minutes. These are all dickish. Am I a dick? Um... I guess we'll go with the least dickish op option here. You're not doddering. You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Oh, I guess that was kind of nice. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the word doddering means, so I'm gonna go look it up. New word, doddering. Moving in a feeble or unsteady way, especially because of old age. Oh, so that was a nice thing to say. 
You're not doddering is actually nice. Okay. Doddering. Uh, let's go ahead and tidy up the board game first. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, You're not Christine, doddering. You... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it... Oh, I like this old lady. Now, I know you want to interrupt her, because I want to interrupt her. Shut the so fuck up! Me, buddy. You be nice to doddering old lady! Breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan. Losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. We can spare a couple minutes. find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. The poor child only has Kathy now, and, well, far from me to criticize or anything, but... No, you go ahead, Christina. She needs to unload. Months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean, girl. Hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. Mm. I know you would never refuse. Yeah, I agree. agree. Yeah. I fully agree. Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time. Ah, uh, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, Have I did. Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in for Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? See, she's nice. Uh, I'm slowly decomposing. Uh, sitting in my mom's spare bedroom and decomposing into arrested development. <laughs> well, at least you're decomposing with family. True that. You look well. Thank you. I've been better. Hung over this morning. Don't tell Christina that. That's well, good for that. Coffee. Oh. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Okay. I like Christina chat. We'll be nice to her. Buttermilk biscuits was a good way to start the day with a cup of coffee. The cost. Right. So the overhead. You seem real engrossed. Oh, I'm sorry, hun. Just balancing the books. Trying to. You should get a computer. Uh, how are the books looking? How you doing? You managed to keep the books balanced? About as well balanced as a snake with four balls. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> what? Sounds uncomfortable, at the very least. <laughs> Something my grandfather used to say. Still don't know what it means, but it works in almost any situation. Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted That's not a phrase? Oh, it's a phrase now. Which makes tidying up my books in time extra important, even if it kills me. Um, you got a franchise deal? I didn't think I'd see the day where you'd consider a franchise contract. Ha! Only the day God calls for me. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. Yeah, he's a good he's dude. Me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh, dear. I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. That's not just something that happens on made-for-TV movies. Coffee still good? You still have Basswood's best coffee? Ah, oh, honey, you know we've never had that. <laughs> That's over at the police station. Bess takes her coffee very seriously. Puts mine to shame. Well, I gotta meet Bess. For real high-end stuff. I'd never make the margins work. Not that my margins have been cutting it lately. It's just been a bit slow the last few years. All over town, really. You'll get through it. I know you'll still be here when the rest of the town is gone. You're too tough. Maybe. Maybe. But you know us. We always make it through. For example... I thought we'd never have another miners' day, but here we are. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Good luck with your books. Bye, mm -hmm. Christina. Okay. Hey, man. Thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh, right. You're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. 
You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? <laughs> right? Okay, I think we're done with our combo here. Talk to bit, everybody. Let's head out. Is that young Jonah Hill? I was thinking it, but I didn't want to say it. He does look a little, little Jonah Hill-ish. You know, there's a website uh, called like Jonah Hill is full or something like that. Where they like judge how ripped he is. Because he like goes through phases where he, where he loses a lot of weight and gets muscle. It's interesting. Is he swole? Yeah, he, he's been working out lately. He goes, he goes up and down. He's a director now. Jonah Hill's like changed his life around pretty aggressively. He did a movie about the 90s that was really authentic. It's kind of fun to watch. Is he going to be a Marvel hero? Who's this guy? Joe. Hey, Joe. His legs seemed like the end of him. Like you mean super bad back. guy? Yeah, yeah, him. Man, he's a rock. Hey, Joe. Joe. Sam? You old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. Was this Anna's it's dad? Two years. Too long. Or uncle? Heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? Hmm, maybe a little. Uh, maybe a little. But don't worry. It's hard for me to blame them. After the mind closed, well. It ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. How have you been? So. God, the Midwest is coming out of me. I just want to talk to everybody and ask how they're doing. Ugh! How have you been holding up? Jesus! Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better hey, Dad, than what's me. up, man? I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. I don't know what it is. Like, this, this game feels... These days. I like homey a to me. me in the eye and say what he means. Um, why weren't you at the wake? I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. Being crippled takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. You seen Dennis today? You haven't. My favorite memory, I want, sorry, I'm going to show this real quick. Uh, when I went back home a couple years ago, um, I remember I was walking out of the apartment getting ready to head somewhere with a friend. I think we were going to the football game. Uh, but I was walking out, I was carrying coffees. This came from Starbucks, and I was delivering it to my friend uh, that I was uh, hanging out with. And uh, some person walked by and like, you got a coffee for me? And I was just like, no, but I'll get you next time, man. And I just, it reminded me of what it's like back home because, like, that doesn't happen out here in California that much. Unless, like, you know people and you're like your friends, but you don't randomly talk to strangers that much in California. I kind of miss that. I could talk hockey with. Not football. Everyone's very focused I out here. Football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. Okay. Well, gotta get going, bud. I have places I need to be, but. It's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him. Where the hell life. is Dennis? What football game did you go to? Uh, I went to the Chiefs game of the playoffs game uh, against the Colts, I believe. It was hey, awesome. Can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Was it's that last year, Chad? No promise answering. Why do you bother I think it was memorial? last year. Well, 
I was gone for like Everything five days. Look, it's best for today, especially the minor. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. And that matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. Did it all out, Felt? You, you good? That was rough? Cheers, Trick? Did you catch uh, Alex Smith's game? Both ends, yeah? Oh, man, damn. Poor Felt's feeling sick, dude. Hearts in chat for Felt, man. And why do you think it should matter so much? Always been a good dude. How many West Major stomach convulsions? Ugh. This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? <sighs> well, I'll bite. I don't know. How many? Three. One to replace the light bulb. Two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> Good one. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, just not the kind of funny you laugh at. So, you still want to hear the story? Sure, old man. Let's hear all it. All ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, you'd be safer in the trenches. Yeah, I like Alex Smith, but we got my homes now, so it is what it is. Boys, they demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations, being what they are, refused and sent strike breakers. The mine wars. Miners came out in force, union men. Met the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. 10,000 strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas around their necks for solidarity. Brotherhood. At least 100 men died in that battle. Jeez. Blood spill for what we have now. <laughs> oh. Pretty powerful stuff. It definitely makes for one hell of a story. There's heroes everywhere. Heroes who died for what I have. So, I do my part. Feel I owe it to them. I get it. I think you do. Anyway, I get back to it. Gonna give her a real spit shine. You take care now. Well, he's working hard. 20,000 men that marched through Boone County to reach Blair Mountain in 1921 where they fought for what we have now. Nothing worth having is not worth fighting for. Okay. Well, good talk. Alright, where's Dennis? Who's this lady? No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone oh. must have seen Dennis. Game does not want me to go that way. Okay. No one's seen Dennis? What about these peeps? You guys seen Dennis? Dennis! Jason! Let's try going over here. Ooh, that's a nice car. Ish. Mm, no one over here, it looks like. I went to the general store. Already. I saw these guys over here. Who have I not talked to? Oh, I haven't gotten here. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. Let's see. Let's see. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. I wonder... I didn't talk to this guy over here that was vandalizing. Sorry, Sam. I'm still on duty. I wouldn't want anyone making up with the statue online. House for sale? What the... Jones were already trying to sell it four years ago. Oh, there's a house back here that you can live in. That'd be a kind of cool apartment to live in. I talked to both, all three of these guys, right? And as for the shops, you came from every month for the LP section. All right, we're missing somebody, chat. We talked to this person. We can't talk to that person. I talked to both of them. Did I ask him about Dennis? I think I did. Must be somebody in the coffee shop I missed. Could 
You know the lady? I can't get up there. Every time I walked up, they pushed it away. This is a true story? This game? You think it's a true story? Really? Talk to him. What about this guy? Working man. Use graphs and data tables efficient. Landscape, slaying flag. Hey man, my break's over. I gotta focus on work. Fair enough. Oh, the story about the miners? Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm missing somebody, chat. Let's try and talk to that lady, but I think it pushes me back every time I go talk to her. We'll see. Loading. This wouldn't happen on the PS5. The game's insta loading that game. Okay, let's try and walk towards her. No luck so far. Yeah. Why don't you keep digging around. Won't let me talk to her. Someone must have seen Dennis. No one's seen Dennis, man. Maybe after I talk to people, more dialogue options come up. Slow day so far, but people are gonna swarm the cafe. Oh, I didn't ask Tara about Dennis. I just listened to her. Forget Dennis and go to Canada? I can't. Has this Detroit become human style? Kinda, yeah, where your story evolves. There's a couple of decisions, but I haven't seen the effects of the decisions in the game yet. No one's seen him because you're a killer trick. I didn't kill anybody. I'm the good guy in this game, chat. Trust me. Okay, can't talk to Tara. I hope you'll stay for the festivities, Samuel. I hope you'll stay for the festivities, Samuel. Yep, can't talk to any of them. What the hell? Is there like a hidden passageway I missed? I remember you telling people you wouldn't kill anyone to become human. I didn't kill anyone in that game. Okay. I don't think so, anyways. They all just died. Just start breaking into cars? I can't just become a criminal. Chat, that's not how you play games. Secret tunnel. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe it is a secret tunnel. Can you go in here? Nope. What about back here? Nope. Locked off. These doors don't open, right? Nope. Blackheart Hotel. Oh, oh, person, person, person. This is a win. This is it. Oh, nice. It's a bug. bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Hey, that's a nice little bird you got there. Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. <laughs> I heard you asking about my dad last night. See, I kept my promise. Careful about listening to other people's conversations. Some find it rude. And everyone should talk quieter. <laughs> Touche. That's what I always say. Ever consider being a reporter when you grow up? Mm, thought about it, but that's not what I want to do. Did you find out anything? About my dad? Not yet. Not really, at least. Let me know if you find anything. Please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't like school. Well, except for science. And hmm. just... When I imagine myself in the future, I just... I don't... I don't know. I don't see this place, or these people. 
I'm somewhere else. Anywhere else. Chase your dreams, kiddo. I know it's stupid, just... It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. Eat I mean, donuts. Cold anyway. Sushi. Gross. Okay, well, that other stuff sounds okay, though. Thanks for listening. Aw, give her a hug. I got grown-up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So, we're both busy. Wait, am I not allowed to ask about Dennis? Because I listen to people? That's weird. Working at the cafe most of the day, we really have to talk if you're still around. <gasps> oh, Anna's here now. Nice. Anna! Anna! Man, you are really smoking that cig. You've been at it for an hour. That kid thinks a lot. Most kids do. At least you'd be thinking. Yikes, Damn. Siri. It's kind of yikes, bud. I didn't think you'd actually show up. I didn't think I would either. But hey, sometimes we surprise ourselves. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? Um, more of a scuffle. It was really more of a scuffle than a fight. A bit of tit for tat. Oh, well, if it was just a bit of friendly fisticuffs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could call it friendly. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on, tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. I trust her. Easy decision. Tell her. I woke up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the basswood jungle? He likes to work weekends. The door was locked. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna do my own thing. <laughs> oh, Sam. What have you done? Okay. That did seem like a really important decision. We've had three of those so far. Alright, so that place should be opened up now. And we can talk to Dennis, and then he can show us this evidence of our friend being evil. Or not a nice guy, as he put it. Uh, Breakwood Jungle. Where was that place? Fast one's musician. Fastwood Jungle. Here it is. Open. Oh, of course, it's locked. locked. But there's a tunnel I discovered earlier that I could probably go through. Right? Right here on the right? My, my, my. Look what we got here. Showing oh, my God. Down again. I thought you were smarter than that. What? What is your problem with me? But I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. And the cop oh, over there? Oh my god, he just punched me. I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Um, I punch back. Nice sucker punch. <sighs> yeah. 
Don't come up and walk on me like that. Got some bite. Well now, seems you want a beaten. I can oblige. Oh boy. De Declan's right down the street. Still sitting in that hallway. Good old Declan. The hallway cop. <laughs> this is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. What a bunch of dingles. Go watch Jeopardy or something. Alright, so we need to find a way in. Let's go this way. The back door here. Open. Tough guys always got their goons with them. Apparently. Like, what are they, like 30, 35? Walking around together, beating people up. They, they got better things they could do with their life, right? Been a while. Go make some cookies. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. What was up with Pac-Man in this game? Where is Dennis? He should be in here. That's what us 35ers do, man. Just walk around in gangs. Is that what I'm going to do in a few years, chat? All right, I'm taking applications for my 35-year-old gang. We're going to go around and uh, pull up plants, kill weeds, uh, maybe read a book together, a little book club action. <gasps> Holy shit! Dennis. What happened? Who? Yo, why did we step in the blood? Now our footprint's in there. Did I? Oh, let's go to our mind palace and figure this out. What the? I don't think I killed you. Focus, you can think through any problem. Focus. Sam, no, don't think about that. Don't focus on me, Sam. Dennis is a distraction. Keep going. You got this. Focusing. I'm focusing. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. So this guy like my savior? He gets me out of bad situations. He's your therapist? This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. I think it's just my conscience and trying to stay on target. Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Okay. Focus. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gun. Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? Some IT documents. Nothing useful. Blood all over the monitor. Not much to go on. I need something useful. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? It's a wound. Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. Killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? Blood, bullet impact right there. The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. 
his hand. From the angle, this was the shooter's position. Was it me? Shooter position? Drawers, maybe? There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. The bullet stopped here. Yeah. No caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. Okay. The holster. His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? Shooter identity. Focus. I guess some look at the identity here. The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it this morning. And how did I get the blood on me? Trace of the blood? Wait, it's like a timed event? Sam, stop it. Come back to reality. But I... I Could I have solved the murder there anything. if I was fast enough? Dennis was already dead when you arrived, can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun. How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think. You're... You're right. I can see it. I have the complete picture now. Do we? It's an interesting gameplay loop. So it's someone that he knew. Oh no, our fingerprints are all over it. The blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled in my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I mean, the computer, right? Computer seems important. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Okay. Dennis's draft. Let's check it out. Going to be home very late tonight. Sorry, I need to make an asshole understand how the world really works. I won't be up to make breakfast, but there are some waffles in the freezer. And should be some. To Mary Gardner. Okay. Is that it? Seems like it's it. Drafts. Inbox. Urgent. Emails between Nick and D. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. 
And Smart. I didn't think I'd hear Someone from you again. If you're willing to talk, I'm very willing to listen. I can make the meetup tomorrow from D. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. Hey, wait. Or, uh, let's read it. Sorry to, to disappoint, but I've decided to drop the story. It turned out that I got a dead end after all. Better luck next time, I hope. Dear Nicholas, I hope you had a pleasant trip. You mentioned last week that you were on the brink of a big story. Things on our side have been really, uh, rather lackluster, I'm afraid. I was hoping maybe you would like to share this with an old owl. What you have up your sleeve. Okay, Walter Dotson? Okay. Puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office. What are they and investigating? Computer. They have to have something for me to go on. They must have left some notes behind somewhere. And Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. All right, let's look around. Hey, it's my old desk. <laughs> Walter always treated us like family. What if Walter's a murderer, chat? Even though he seems so nice. It's always the nice guys in these games. You gotta watch out for him. Enter password. There might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. Well, could it be? Hopefully his password reminder isn't some esoteric book reference. Ugh, my heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. If I ever go looking for my heart's desire... Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Alright, well, let's find a password, shall we? That was just after Anna came on. And we really were a small clan. I don't know, chat. Who do you think the killer is so far? Each in a different style. Eclectic. Books. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Walter's favorite article. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic. You? In the You're the me. What? I'm not a murderer. Is his blood and soul. I'm the good guy, chat. Me if he said it as his password. Cover the ink spots greatest hits. It's about time somebody teaches the real classics. Let me know what you think. A. Dear Mr. Dotson, as per your mother's wishes, I am pleased to inform you that your mother is well on her way to full recovery. Following a detailed and thorough medical examination, she is now fit to leave our care. As per my recommendations, Miss Judith will shortly leave for Costa Rica. The warmer climate will help her will help bring her back to full strength. If you have any need of clarification, please contact me. P.S. Your mother asked me to remind you that your own medical exam with my colleague, Dr. Chavez, is long overdue. Cat photo. Oh, that's it right there. That's it, chat. That's Prin the password. Happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Pren. That's the password. Maybe Call. He said her name is his password. That's it. It's Pren. Hundred percent. Enter password. Unlock. Pren. That's not it. I have Look. To keep looking. Uh, Wonderland. That's not it. I have to keep asswood. And I'm in. We did it! Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Alright, Walter. Your shitty ass password. Um hey hun, here's a report on Nick's crash. You haven't asked for one of these in a while, nothing all interesting in here. Just another sad day by the roadside. West Virginia roads take more good sons than guns do. Best, I want to take some of my greatest thanks again for your help. You're a scholar and a saint. It looks like I was worried necessarily regardless. Thanks for putting my mind at ease. Is Walter the killer? 
Why would he want to know how that person died and if they had any information on it? Mostly standard so far. By the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Car found against a tree surrounded by debris. Fire started at or after impact and burned out with Nicholas Waldron in the driver's seat. Skid marks and other traces suggest the driver was startled by an animal and exited the road at high speed. Driver most likely inebriated in some form. Oh shit. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. Airbags were deployed. Seatbelt was not on. Windows were rolled up. Driver probably drunk and forgot the belt. The fire burned out a small area around the car but did not spread. Unknown if driver was alive at time of crash, but if, it, if so, did not survive. The fire. Blunt force trauma, smoke inhalation, and burns are all possible cause of death. Well, if he died on impact, there wouldn't be smoke inhalation, right? There would there would be ash and signs of smoke in his lungs, right? If they did an autopsy, it's weird. A car really burned. Jesus. Though that's very uncommon in most crashes. Hmm. Uh oh. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Okay. Hope he let's still go. His notes out. Which office was Nick? I guess this one? Nick's drawers. Nick's cupboard. Board. Post-its. Valid question. What Still would you say you do here? They don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. 2341, don't forget. It's 1141 in military time. At night. Off supplies and old notes. Archives. If I had the code, I could get in here. Okay, so we gotta find a code. Oh, 2341. Two, three, three, four, one. Nope. And with something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. Hmm. Okay. I should keep looking. Missing laptop. Nick's computer is missing. He took it home to work or stolen. Interesting. I left you some personal pepperoni rolls in the fridge. Don't work. Don't work too late. P.S. Next time it's your turn. Um. Put down. Leave it. Take it. Take it. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this for old times' sake. Hmm. Thought maybe there would be something behind it. Okay. Seems like all I can look around here. Yeah, it's back out. Gotta find this code. Next nameplate. Walter often called Nick his farmhand. Do you guys see any other numbers anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Two, three, four, one didn't work. Maybe I typed it in wrong. Let's try it again. Twenty, three, forty, one. Nope. Hmm. And with something like ten thousand combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. Well, oh, did I check the drawers? I didn't check the drawers. Too easy to access, wouldn't keep anything important in them. Hmm. Diary. Inspect. What is that? 3121? One, one? Drawings? Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. That might be it. There's a safe there, too. 3121. One.
three, one, two, one. Thanks, bug. Nice. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Thanks, bug. What do we got in here? Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Maybe it was stolen. Read. Unemployment skyrocketed after the mine closed very normal, flattened out in the last year or so. On the rebound, numbers looking good. Trend or outlier, need more data points. Tickets and hotel bills. Contacts. Read. Uh, 8 p.m. with D twitchy guy, but might have something useful. 5 p.m. second meeting with D. This is actually something, assuming he's not full of crap. Always wants to meet in spooky spots. Maybe he's seen too many movies. 10 a.m. with D. Had to buy him breakfast and said we couldn't meet anymore. Seems like a dead end. 4-1. Thought I lost him. Glad he's open to talking again. Interesting. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. D Twitchy. Name a passenger Nick Waldron. West Virginia to Florida. Train 254. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. What was he looking for? Let's just do a look at this Nick as well. Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something. Or someone. Okay. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. I think it's Declan, the police officer. He did seem a little shoddy, and he did change his tone when we saw him talking to that one guy. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. He tried to tell me something. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly, like I said. You should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... <gasps> hey! What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. Oh, no. What happened? Is he... Anna? Is I shouldn't he... have told her. You need to trust me. You need to be here with me and listen to what I have to say. Why is it so aggressive? Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did it first. I have no... We power. shouldn't bring her into it. It's not about you. Oh, no. Don't now I feel bad. Family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is going to find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Yeah, time to make a decision, chat. Do you think we keep her involved or no? <sighs> Call the cops or leave right away. What do you think, chat? Do we call the cops here in a town that we're hated? Or do we just go? She's already involved? Yeah, but my options are to call the cops with her or just leave. Maybe telling the cops would be good early in this decision. You need to kill her? What the hell is wrong with you, chat? You can't just murder someone. That would look bad. Call, you think? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. 
I think calling the cops is a bad play. I think it's a bad play. Anna, no. They'll want to interrogate me and we'll never find out who did this. What's wrong with you? How could you be so cold? We can't make him not dead. What we do now will decide if we can find out what really happened. Trust me. I'm not comfortable with this. But if you insist, we'll just... Oh, great. Cool. She'll help me. So I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. Sam, I'm not... I'm not sure this is a good idea, going on your own like that. I mean, we're already down this rabbit hole. She should come with us. I'd like you to come with me. Whatever I find, I don't want to face it alone. Let's go to the crash site. We don't have a second to lose. Anna's a badass. Hell yeah. Also, I didn't want her to go tell the cops behind my back, so I had her come with me. I feel like that's the play. I think that was a good play. I think we did good. Here we are. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? <laughs> I remember. Especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I'm pretty sure abandonment of a body charges take like a day before it's a crime. Yeah, right? We're fine. We have like 48 hours before we have to report the body. According to law, right? Right? This is the place. Crash site. Oh, chat. I'm going to take a lunch break. And we're going to continue playing this, okay? I just want some lunch. Because I'm getting kind of hungry. But, uh... Let's take a nice little 15 minute break. Watch a YouTube video. Eat. And then we'll come back and we'll figure out what's going on here.